All right, in this video, we're going to talk about some errors that are associated with meiosis that lead to problems with chromosomes. So, one of the main problems would be having the wrong number of chromosomes. This is caused by non disjunction. So, chromosomes are supposed to line up in the center and they're supposed to separate during meiosis. Sometimes in meiosis, they don't separate and they go to one side. And so now this cell over here has too many copies of a chromosome. The one on the other side has not enough copies. So when they, they separate, that's called disjoining or disjunction. So when they don't separate, we call that non-disjunction. You can have breakage of the chromosomes. Things like deletions, duplications, inversions, and translocations. Translocations where we'll talk about each of those in a little bit. We're going to start with non-disjunctions. So these lead to problems with the mitotic spindle that cause errors, or it's caused by problems with the mitotic spindle that cause errors in the daughter cells. So homologous chromosomes don't separate properly during meiosis I, or the sister chromatids fail to separate during meiosis II. And it causes different kinds of problems. If it happens in meiosis I, you have extra copies or missing copies of all the chromosomes. If it happens in meiosis II, it's usually a single chromosome that has extra copies or a missing copy. That's what normally happens. Sometimes it doesn't separate properly. So now we have, this is, again, this is meiosis one. So we have, or meiosis two, excuse me. So you can see what happens. You have extra copies of one of the chromosomes. So the top cell is, has a missing chromosome and the bottom cell has an extra copy of a chromosome. Again, you can see some of the possibilities here. What happens in meiosis one versus meiosis two. So like I said, here in meiosis one, all of the cells have the incorrect number of chromosomes, uh, or every every chromosome has the incorrect number, I should say. In meiosis, or in meiosis two, you have half of the of the cells have the incorrect number. One of them is going to have an extra. One's going to be missing a chromosome. So, one of the most common cases where in humans where the the baby survives is a form of trisomy having three copies of a chromosome. So here you got an egg cell that has an extra copy of a chromosome. It gets fertilized by a sperm with the normal number. And you get a cell that has an extra crop copy of one of the chromosomes. Monosome, on the other hand, only have one copy of a chromosome in the baby. Again, this, in this case, mom, the egg is missing a chromosome, and we get a monosomy or a cell with, with only one copy of one of the chromosomes. Most of the time when this happens, because the baby will have so many problems, the, there, there's going to be a miscarriage or a spontaneous abortion. Uh, basically, it just is too, too problematic. So, we, so a lot of these problems would be to do with regulatory molecules, hormones, uh, transcription factors, so on. Sometimes you have cases where the baby does survive, but it, it causes problems still. So it causes a certain set of symptoms, and we call that a syndrome. Most common case in humans, like I said, is a trisomy. In this case, it's trisomy 21. You can see that in the karyotype there. Three copies of chromosome 21. One in 700 children born in the U.S. will have Down syndrome. Chromosome 21 is the smallest human chromosome. We think that plays a role in why they can survive with the extra copy. 
but it can have pretty severe effects. It's, it's a very broad range of effects from mild mental impairment to severe profound mental impairment. It can cause heart problems. It can cause cleft lips and cleft palates. It has certain facial features and so on. Uh, the most common thing associated with the risk of Down syndrome is the age of mom. Uh, once mom gets above age about 35, the risk, fact, the risk of having a kid with Down syndrome are go up considerably because in women, remember, the eggs go through part of meiosis one before they're born, stay in that resting state in, until about puberty, and then one cell a month goes through and finishes meiosis. And uh, again, when they've been sitting that long, the chances of one of those cells not separating properly goes up. And you can see in the graph here, um, and then you know the gr the graph at the bottom there, or the data at the bottom there, talks about how uh, amniocentesis, when we first started doing it, was somewhat problematic. But today, uh, 2006, it was less than 0.1 percent of the cases where amniocentesis caused a miscarriage. Uh, today, that may be even lower than that. Uh, you can have problems where you have the wrong number of sex chromosomes, so non-disjunction happens with the sex chromosomes. Again, one possible where you have an X or X chromosome causes Klinefelter syndrome in males. Uh, severe, uh, usually, some, some male males with this are going to have some degree of mental impairment. Usually, are going to be infertile. Uh, having three copies of an X chromosome, trisomy, so this would be mom had non-disjunction in the egg, the egg ended up with two X chromosomes, got fertilized by a sperm with an X chromosome. Again, it's female because it doesn't have a Y, but again, serious problems. Jacob's syndrome can only happen when two Y sperm fertilize the same egg at the same time, so this is not a non-disjunction problem, but it still results in the wrong number of chromosomes. Very rare. Like I said, two by sperm would have to fertilize the same egg at the same time. Turner syndrome, again, no Y chromosome, so they're female, short stature, uh, some webbing in the neck sometimes, some webbing the finger to toe sometimes, sometimes some mental impairment, but usually not too much. Also, like with Kleinfelders, they're usually infertile. So here's Kleinfelters again. One in every 2,000 births have male sex organs but are sterile. Feminine characteristics sometimes can have breast development, lack of facial hair. They tend to be taller than usual, normal to maybe slightly below normal intelligence. Jacob syndrome. It says one in a thousand, an extra Y, slightly taller than average, more active, normal intelligence to slight learning disabilities, delayed emotional maturity, normal sexual development, though. Trisomy X, one in every 2,000, healthy females, um, far bodies, when Women's cells develop. Normally, you have two X chromosomes, so one of them in every cell gets inactivated. And we'll talk more about bar bodies later when we get into genetics. In the case of trisomy X, all of them except for one gets inactivated, so you get the normal dose of all the proteins. Everything's fine. Here's Turner syndrome. One in every 5,000 births, varying degrees of effect. Like I talked about earlier, possible web necked, short stature, sterile. And then changes in chromosome structure, we mentioned those earlier, have to do with errors in replication of the DNA. You can have a deletion where part of the chromosome is lost, so obviously you're going to lose some genes there. Um, duplication, part of the chromosome, you have an extra copy. Again, that can cause some problems. Usually the number of repetitions is the key in whether it causes problems or not. Inversion, part of it breaks off and switches order so the genes are not in the correct sequence. 
That's a result of crossing over errors. And then translocation, a lot of the diseases in our lab were due to translocation errors where part of one non-homologous chromosome breaks off and switches places with part of another non-homologous chromosome. So we can de detect a lot of these chromosomal problems through genetic testing before the baby's born. Uh, most common one is amniocentesis, usually done in the second trimester, and you can see kind of the procedure there. We take some cells out of the amniotic fluid, which contain some of the fetal cells that have sloughed off the skin of the fetus. We grow them in the lab. We do a karyotype. We look at their chromosomes and see if their structure is normal and they have the right number and everything. So here would be a, a normal female character.